this unto him and thank this God. No power of hair can ever pluck you from his hand. No power of sickness. No power of disease. No power of No power of poverty can ever pluck you from his hand. Lift up your voice and worship him. 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 No power of hell. No power of hell. No power of sickness. No power of fear can ever pluck you from his hand. This is our confession, this is our declaration. This is our proclamations upon the altar of Zion. That no power of hell shall be able to pluck us from his hand. No power of situations, no power of circumstances shall be able to pluck us from his hand. What Almighty God, thank you, Father. 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 We give you praise, O God. We give you glory. Blessed be your holy name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Come on, come be louder. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Hallelujah. Praise God. Before we take our seats very briefly, before we take our seats, this month has been declared the month of prayer without ceasing. So in other words, it's our month of praying a lot. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, it's our month of praying a lot. It's a month of praying without ceasing. So if a man is praying without ceasing, meaning that the man will be praying a lot. So meaning that this month is a month of our praying a lot because it's a month of praying without ceasing. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to pray. The Bible enjoins us in the book of Luke 18, verse number 1, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. So by divination, if you are a man, you ought to pray. So I want you to lift your voice and say, My Father and my God, in this season, in this season, my star will not be withdrawn. In the name of Jesus Christ, my star will not be withdrawn. In this season, oh God, my star will not be withdrawn. In the name of Jesus Christ, all that is required for me to shine, all that is required for me to manifest, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will not be withdrawn by the power of hell. It will not be withdrawn by the power of sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And lastly, we want to pray. I say, my Lord and my God, say, my Father, my Father, in this season, every prepared battle, from the pit of hell over my life, over my destiny, over my family, over my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am not your candidate. Backfire by fire. Let somebody pray. Every prepared, every prepared battle, whatever battle that the enemy has prepared, that is about to launch in the name of Jesus Christ. As for me and my family, our case is different. We are not your candidate. We are not your candidate. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and we declare back to your sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, and people shout a louder. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. See, in the attitude of worship, let's be outstanding as the choir leaders in our hymn.
and I declare, I profess and I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ in this season, your life will never lack joy. Amen. Your life will never lack joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. what will happen that will cause your joy to increase, I declare it to happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, in Jesus' Lord. name we have worship. Amen. Please be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. the living Jesus. It's time to give our tithes and offering. If you have your tithes here, can you please stand up and move forward? Tithes in the house. Father, in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we thank you for your children that has obeyed your word. They have come to pay their tithe unto you. That we pray that even as your word has said it, you will remove devourers from their sake in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, we pray for this one, so Lord God, that they will not lose that job in the name of Jesus Christ. If they are leaving their job, it will be for a greater height in the name of Jesus Christ. As men that are seated here this morning, they are looking for an opportunity to even pay their tithes, Lord. Father, we pray, oh Lord God, that you give, you meet them at the point of their needs in Jesus' name. Amen. And they will be able to find that job that will bless them, that will suit them as well in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Offering time. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's rise on our feet as we give to the Lord. Hallelujah. You are still sitting down. Hallelujah. Ah. Okay, if you are still packaging your, your offering, that's good. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to look at your neighbor. Hallelujah. Aha. See what you've done for me. How you set me free. <laughs> you are the living God. Is it no one like you? Da 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 da
be like dancing. The Lord, your dance, hallelujah. I feel like jumping. 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 Glory be, honor be, glory be to the Lord. Righteous Father, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, our Redeemer, our Creator, and our Healer, the one that has blessed us so much. Father, we exalt your name this morning. Daddy, we have come to say thank you to you. Even from the much that you're giving unto us, we have brought this token, Lord. Daddy, please accept it in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, bless this offering in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, we pray that it will be used according to your will, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. The pockets from the which this womb this has come out this morning, Daddy, you bless them back in multiple folds, Lord. And we thank you, Lord God, because you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Can we have our seats as we have our beautiful, our wonderful children ministering to us this morning. And immediately after them, the you two will be coming up. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Joshua O'Daffy. Today we will be singing God Will Make a Way. Good job, Joshua.
are some ways we cannot see. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Today, we, the youth, are going to sing a song named Wade in the Water by the Virtuals. God has delivered us from our enemies. He has delivered us from those who want to, to be able to happen to us. Maybe bless as you listen. Children, wait in the water. 
Got stuck in the trip of the water. Wait in the water. We did wait in the water. Children wait in the water. Got in the trouble the water. We are the sons and the daughters. We gotta stand up and make it loud. Just like our gods of the Pharaoh, let my people go. We are a new generation from the ones who have come before. He's calling us into freedom, let my people go. We never go shine, no go shame. If you're Papa God, where you make the heaven. You know, say you know what trouble, let my people go, go. The blood, sweat, and the tears that we have gathered through the years. You know, say you want no trouble, let my people go, go. Wait in the water, we did wait in the water, children, wait in the water. Got children in the trouble, the water. Wait in the water, we did wait in the water. Trouble the water. Oh, 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 Trouble the water. Wait in the water. We did wait in the water. Children wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Praise the Lord. Let a living soul in the house shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. And it is good to praise him from time to time because that's what he has created us for. I'm not going to go into a long epistle this morning. The title of our song says Tobechuku. And the interpretation of that says start praising God. I believe we all have times in our lives where our backs were against the wall and this God came through for us. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. If you feel you don't have any such time, just please praise him in advance because praise confuses the enemy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please join us even as we sing thanksgiving to this song this morning. Tobe Chuku. Be blessed as you listen in Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will do it for you. Amen. He will do it for me. Amen. And we have every reason to praise him. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless the choir. Amen. The Lord increase them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Amen. This month, this month my, testimony my testimony will be greater than yours. It will be bigger than yours. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Thou art worthy, O Lord, worthy, O Lord, to, to receive, receive glory, honor, and power, and power, for thou hast created full of gratitude for that which you have done even in our lives as individual as a family as a church we say thank you for the month of january thank you for the month of february thank you for this month of march that was brought us in by your mercy and by your grace daddy we are grateful accept our thanks in the mighty name of jesus Lord, you did not bring us thus far to abandon us. You have brought us thus far to show forth your glory, to show forth your mightiness, even in our life and in our family. That it will ask that in this third month, let the Trinity go to work even in our life. Let the Trinity go to work even in our family. Let the Lord Almighty accomplish that which he has proposed for us even this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. This month of March will favor us. This month of March will move us forward. This month of March will give us testimony. Every evil that are in this month will not partake in it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we go into your word, speak to us. This month has been declared as our month of not stop praying. Pray without ceasing. That it will ask that you will ignite our altar of prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we pray, we will receive testimonies. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated. Praise the name of the Lord. Our theme for this month is pray, praying without ceasing. And this morning, we want to look at what it means to pray without ceasing. Let's read our Bible to 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians. Chapter 5, verse 17. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. He said, pray without ceasing. And the New Living Translation say, never stop praying. Pray without ceasing. And the New Living Translation said, never stop what? Praying. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, never stop praying. How does, does, does someone pray without ceasing? What does it mean to pray without ceasing? Do you know why some people stop in the place of prayer? So many people stop in the place of prayer when there is a delay to answer to their prayer. When, they, when we are trusting God for something and we are lifting it up in the presence of God and you are praying, even at times you fast, you do all sorts of things, and there is a delay, you begin to get, grow weary. You begin to get tired. Especially when you are praying on an issue and the issue seems to be getting worse. You are praying, maybe you have a headache and the, the intensity of the headache increase. You begin to wonder, 
Is God really there? Is God really answering me? I pray this morning, whatever thing that is making you to be discouraged or to not to pray continuously, the Lord will take it away from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. To pray with us is a means to have our mind always in the things of God. That is, your mind is fixed in whatever thing that you are doing. I've said it several times on this altar that do you know you are in the house? You are cooking. He can turn to prayer and say, Lord, as I'm cooking right now, whatever thing that is in my life, in my family, that is not yet cooked the way you want it to be, what should God do? What should God do? Cook it now. You are cleaning your car. You are cleaning your house. Lord, every dirty things in my life, in my family, as I'm cleaning this house now, or as I'm cleaning my car, Lord, just clean them for me. You are driving to your place of work. Lord, I'm driving now. I'm not stagnant. I'm moving to my office. Everything that is putting me on the same spot, Lord God Almighty, as this car is moving forward, what shall you do? Move me forward. Every, every action can be converted to prayer. And you are, because you are communicating with your father. And that's what God expects from us. When we look at the scripture, when we look at churches worldwide, the power of a church is not how organized they are. It's not the number of programs that they are having. The power of a church is in their place of prayer. It's in their place of prayer. And that was what happened in Acts. In Acts chapter 12 verse, uh, 12 verse 5. When Peter was taken, when Peter was captured and was put in, put in prison, the Bible recorded that and the church did what? They offered prayer. And when they pray, did, 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 did the nation see the power of God? They saw the power of God. God sent an angel to do what? To rescue Peter from the dungeon of Herod. Because when he took James and the church did not pray, what did he do? He killed him. And he saw that he pleased the people. And now he took the head of the church and he said, well, he didn't want to do it public, uh, secretly now. He now wants to do it publicly on the Easter. But the church offered prayer. When church pray, you see the power of God moving. When church pray, you see the act, 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 hand of God moving in the nation, in the city, and in our family. And I pray this morning, as we pray even this month, as we pray this day, God will move on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray with us is what does it mean? It means to pray always. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, pray always. Every action, as I've said, can be converted to what? To prayer. You are sitting down. You can pray and say, Lord, every storm in my life, every, every unease in my life should do what? Should calm down. You know where you are seated, you are calm. When there are storm, even blowing, Lord, those who are troubling my life, as this storm is waging, let it wage in their life too. Every action you see can be converted to what? Prayer. So that means consist consistently, continually, you can do what? You can pray without stopping. You can pray. You can pray without stopping. So what does it mean? It means pray constantly. Constantly. To pray with us is to continually pray. Make prayer as a lifestyle. It means to pray without resting. Some of us, when we have victory, there are several of us now, we just finished 50 days of prayer and fasting. Is that not? We say, why do I want to pray again? Why do I want to do what? Fast again. After all, I have prayed for what? 50 days. So you must not rest. You must not stop. You should continually do what? Pray. It means to pray day and night. There is no any specific time to do what? You pray 
or you can pray anytime. We are not like any other, the other religions that they pray five times and they have specific times they have to pray. Because if they don't pray that time, their prayer will not be what? Praise the Lord. Our God is not like that. And our, our you know, you can see it. Over six billion people in the world. If everybody becomes Christian today and everybody is praying the same time, our God will do what? As parents, if one of your child is talking to you, another one is talking, another, you say, you keep quiet, let me do what? Our God is not like that. He can hear everybody at the same time and answer us at the same time. So, what does it mean? It means that you should not be tired of what? Of praying. Never be what? Tired of what? Of praying. It means you should don't cease to do what? To pray. Some of us wake up in the morning, we jump out of our bed, and we don't pray. If I ask that if you pray this morning, raise up your hand. I'm not asking you in your heart. I'm sure several of us didn't pray. We just jump out of bed. How many of us pray before we even eat? When you finish eating, how many of us pray? And say, Father, thank you because I was able to eat today. Do you know there are people... Eh, eh, because we don't appreciate... Do you know that until you have soft truth or you have something <laughs> and you'll be hungry and you can't eat, what will happen? What will happen? You will pray. But do you thank God for that? The air you breathe in, do you thank God, Father, I thank you, I can breathe on my own. Do you know there are people who cannot breathe on their own? They carry oxygen about. There are people that they can't go to the, to, the, to, the, uh, to the bathroom, to the restroom. They need to be aided. There are people who cannot walk. There are people who have lost the sanity of their mind. But you, can't, you, don't, you have several things to thank God for. You are not thanking God for all those, but the only thing that the devil is flashing on you is what you cannot get, what God didn't do for you. And that's why most of the times we are willing in a place of prayer. Do you know coming to fellowship like this, you need to thank God for it? During the time of COVID, you know some people had depression. Why? Because we are all on lockdown. Is that not? So they could not get people to do what? To fellowship with. Where they used to go, clubbing, drinking, they could not go. So they enter into depression. So we need to know that. We need to know how, what does it mean to pray with us? As long as you have your breath, continue to do what? Continue to pray. And we need to pray with us because in this world, evil will never cease. As long as this earth remains, evil will continue to multiply. And that's why you must do what? You must do what? Pray continually without stopping. Do not rest your altar of prayer to keep burning. Do not allow little comfort to take you out of the place of prayer. There are several of us, a little comfort some of us, the way we are serving God, where we came from, is not the same way we are serving God where we are right now. What do people say? They say, this what? Eh? This, this is America. <laughs> there is no difference between America and any part of the world. It's still the same. There are people, there are churches underground in China, in Asia countries, in Indonesia, where they cannot meet the way we are meeting like this, where they cannot carry the Bible. Some of them have of the Bible. We are going to the same heaven. So some of us, a little comfort. God has blessed you with just few change. It becomes difficult for you now to come to the presence of God. You look at it, what, I mean, what do, what do I need to pray for? I have a good house. I have a good job. I have a little comfort until something happens. Don't wait. Continually pray. Because prayer is like you are storing money in your account. 
There are days that things will happen and you will not be able to pray. But those prayers that you have offered, they are already there and they will work for you. I said they will work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So do not be comfortable with your present situation. It's only when you are comfortable with your present situation you just decide that I don't need to pray. I'm healthy. What do I need to pray for? I have this. What do I need to pray for? And that's why people cannot pray. We know, you know very well that before you got that job, what were you doing? You prayed. So when you get that job, what must you keep doing? You keep praying to keep what? To keep that job. Before you got married, you are praying. You prayed and said, God, give me a husband, give me a wife. When you got married, you need to keep praying that you will not lose your spouse and you will not lose your marriage because the enemy is out there going about like a roaring lion to and fro, looking for who will not be a victim in the mighty name of Jesus. Before you got that child, before you became pregnant, before you got those children, you were praying. And now that you have those children, what must you do? Keep praying. Some of us will stop. Must know. So do not give the enemy any chance. Pray what? Without ceasing. The Bible, this month, I say, is a month of prayer. Pray without ceasing. So make sure that every second that you have, convert it to prayer. You know, even in your heart, you can be going and your, you, your heart is toned with, with heaven. You are connected with heaven and you are praying. So it doesn't mean you have to just, you know, any, any little time you have, ask the Lord that God help me. That this, I, you know, God should repair our altar of prayer. Because it's only in the place of prayer we can move the hand of God. It's not our crying. Crying will not move God. If you are going, even human being, and you see somebody just crying, you will stop and do what? And look. But as you are looking, if the person has said, I need help, he has spoken, then you will want to listen. But some of us, we go, we keep weeping. God expects us. It's only in the place of prayer you can move the hand of God. It's only in the place of prayer you can move God to bring down your blessings. It's only in the place of prayer the package that God has for you, you can receive them. It's only in the place of prayer. So when you fold your hand, when you, a short mouth is a short destiny. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. So it's only you ask your father the, 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 the prodigal son, most of us blame him, but there is a good side to it. Do you know some of us, we stayed in our father's house. It was in his father's house. The father has everything. Did he ever ask for anything for any day? He never. But the, senior, the, the younger one came and said, Dad, give me my own word. Because he knows his entitlement. He knows what he's entitled to. So there are several of us who just keep quiet. What we saw what God has packaged for us, what God has planned for our life, and we keep quiet. We keep looking. When is it when, when I'm waiting for when my father will stop and say, take. But God expects us to ask. He say, ask, and it shall be what? Seek. Knock. Have you asked? Have you seek? It's in the place of prayer. You ask. The Lord will give us understanding and he will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. So this month, do not give your enemy any chance. Pray without ceasing. Never stop praying. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, never stop praying. This month, never stop praying. As you pray, heavens will answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say heaven will answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. So, there is a, a song we used to sing in those days. 
as I begin to round up, by next week Sunday, we, that's the hymn we are going to take. It says, Seek, seek, Christian, seek ye not yet from, yet thy gracious Savior say, Thou art in the midst of all, I'm praying. You are in the midst of the fall. We need to watch. And what? Do you know? I was telling someone. Most of we Christians, we pray and we don't do what? We pray and we don't do what? But how did Jesus put it? He said what? Eh? Most of us pray and we don't. The Lord will give us understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praying without ceasing, you need the Spirit of God. Without the Spirit of God dwelling in you, there is no way you can pray continuously because you'll be wearied, you'll be tired. If you don't have a connection with the Father, there is no way you can pray. You need that connection. It's like when you have a friend, a close friend, there is a connection. When you see, you can talk for hours. But when there is no connection, you can talk maybe hi, hi, and it will be over. So that's how it is. When you don't have connection with the Spirit, and the Spirit of God is not in you, you will find it challenging in the place of prayer. Are you here this morning? Your life is not right with God. Are you watching online? You have walked away from God. You know deep down in your heart that your life is not right with God. And you desire to pray continuously without stopping. This is an opportunity for you as all heads are bowed. I want to go before the Lord. If you want the Spirit of God to come upon you this morning so that you'll be able to pray without stopping. You'll be able to pray without ceasing. Continuously. You want to receive that power. I want to go before the Lord this morning. Put your hand in your chest and ask the Lord and say, Father, I need the Spirit of God to come upon me this morning so that I can pray without ceasing, without stopping. I want to pray without stopping. Continuously, oh Lord. Whatever thing that is not making me to pray, to tarry in the place of prayer, let the Lord begin to approve them even this day. Let the Lord Almighty begin to approve them this day. I want to pray and ask the Lord Almighty and say, Father, Lord, I come before you this morning. I know whatever thing that is in my life that does not make right, that is not making your spirit to dwell rightly in me, to be able to pray continuously, to be able to pray without stopping. This morning I've heard your word. Lord, take such things away from my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want to pray and ask the Lord Almighty and say, help me, O Lord. To help me in my prayer altar to keep burning as the Lord that God will give you an up, give you fresh oil in your altar. Even this morning, it will release fresh auction, fresh oil, fresh auction, even upon you, even this morning, to be able to pray the way you ought to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's ask the Lord Almighty. Jesus started with prayer, is still praying for us. Let's ask the Lord Almighty that God will help us this morning. Give me oil in my lamb. Keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamb. I pray. Let's ask the Lord to give us oil in our lamb. To keep us burning. Our altar of prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that the enemy has poured on our prayer life. That is making us to be cold. That is making us to be comfortable. That the Lord Almighty will set us a place even this morning. Let the Holy Spirit set us a place afresh, O oh Lord. Let the power of God come afresh upon us this morning. Let the Holy Spirit come afresh upon us this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Blessed be thy name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. 
This all started with prayer and is still in prayer. Prayer is a master key. Our Father and our God, we just want to say thank you. We can't get anything from you except we pray. And we have a lot of them packaged for us. But the enemy have robbed several of us in the place of prayer. And it's only in the place of prayer we can move the hand of God. It's in the only in the place of prayer we can make a demand unto heaven to release unto us that which you have packaged for our life, for our destiny. As we have heard even this morning, Lord, pour fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil upon our altar of prayer this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many altars that have gone cold, receive the fire of God this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray as we begin to pray non-stop in our life. As we convert every action that we are doing to prayer, let us begin to see the testimonies in our life in Jesus' name. Thank you, precious Father. As many, O oh Lord, that have cried unto you, that the Spirit of God should come afresh upon their life, Lord, I ask even this morning that you will reconnect them back, O oh Lord. Whatever thing that is making them to be disconnected from you, Father, uproot it completely away from their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, in these assemblies, make us a praying church. In the name of Jesus, make our family a praying family. Make our city a praying city. Cause us, O oh Lord, because the apostles, they were few, but they are men of prayer. And they turn the whole city around. Daddy, by that which we deposit in our life even this day, we will turn this nation for Christ. I say we will turn this nation for Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I receive the fire. I receive the fire. I will no longer be cold. From this day forward, I will stop not praying. The Lord will help us. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. If you have been said, blessed, hallelujah. As you all know, today is first Sunday. And first Sunday is a day that we have set aside in the redeemed Christian Church of God worldwide as a day of thanksgiving. If you don't have any other thing to thank God for, what must you thank God for? For what? For life. If you don't have life, you can't complain that I have no car. If you don't have life, you can't complain that that job I'm doing is just a $10 job. If you don't have life, <laughs> you won't say, well, I'm living in an apartment. But the greatest gift we have is what? Is the gift of life. As the choir will lead us, we will rise, we will rejoice, we will dance in the next 10 minutes. Give us a high praise. Let's stay in our place, we will dance and rejoice. And after that, I will call those who are doing their birthday to come forward. And I will do the general thanksgiving. And those who are doing their birthday will stay. We will pray with them and those who are doing wedding anniversary or whatever. Let's just so the choir will lead us. In the next 10 minutes in our various places, let's rejoice in the presence of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Let's dance like never Amen. before. God has been faithful unto us. Yes, shall we rise to our feet? Our God is deserving of our praise. That's the least we can give to Him. Our praise. Hallelujah. Your dad 
lifting up free unto the Lord.
our mommy give us a special song. We we'll are we'll still wait for that day, but give us a special song. Menu oreti babashe. Father and our God, you are faithful. You are faithful. We say thank you. Thank you because you are standing in your presence today because of your faithfulness and your mercy. Thank you because great is your faithfulness and you are new every day in our life. We say thank you. On behalf of this, your children, we say thank you. Some are thanking you because you have added another year onto their year already. And some you'll be adding onto their year later in this month. Some are thanking you for their marriages. Some are thanking you for one thing or the other that they will ask even this day. You will accept their thanksgiving. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for all these ones that are in special thanksgiving we bring this day. I ask that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, you will bless them. The Trinity will go to work in your life and your family. They will give you a special gift. A gift that no man can give in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those whom you have added another year unto their year. Father, you will keep them. They will live to fulfill their number of days here on earth. They will not die. In the mighty name of Jesus. On the day of their birthday, Father, give them a special birthday gift. In the name of Jesus. Three is Trinity. This is the third month. Let them begin to experience God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In a new dimension in their life, in their family, in their career, in their ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. As many, O oh Lord, even in the church. As men that have rejoiced before you this morning. As men that have danced, as men that have sung, as men that have shown one thing or the other in their giving. That I pray, Lord, that throughout the remaining days in this year, joy will never cease in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is the third month, the month of March. In our life, we are marching forward. In our life, we are marching on to glory. In our life, we are marching on to our destiny. In our life, we are marching on to a place of rest. In our life, we are marching on to a place of abundance. In our life, we are marching on to a place of peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. This month will favor us. This month will, pro will, will cause us to flourish on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus. This month, no violence will be had in our tabernacle. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, I pray even for your children, O Lord. Those who you have added another year to their year, as they start a new year, make it the best year for them. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is giving you joy, the enemy will not tamper with it. In the mighty name of Jesus. If the Lord tarry, you will celebrate more more years. You'll be 50, you'll be 60, you'll be 70, you'll be 80, you'll be 90, you'll be 100. In the name of Jesus. In good health. In the name of Jesus Christ. And those who are celebrating their wedding anniversary, Father, you will continue to build their home. To the glory and to the praise of your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and decree. Amen. Praise the Lord. The new year will give us a song. Don't make care, give us a song. He has done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. Receive my praise, Lord. If I have 10,000 songs, it soon will be enough. Receive my praise, Lord. Shout a big hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, throughout the remaining days in this year, throughout the remaining days in this year, joy is my portion. Peace is my portion. Progress is my portion. Advancement is my portion. Elevation is my portion. Prosperity is my portion. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated. Quickly. I have a good news for you. Praise the Lord. I say I have a good news for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Brother Muntala, are we ready? So, work I've started on the site. And I'm trusting the Lord. So, the piercing has been completed. The concrete has been poured. The plumbing, underground plumbing has been completed. So this week, we should be able to pour the foundation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First, who started it will be the one to complete it. Amen. We shall all be there on the day of the glory of the dedication. Amen. None of us will be missing. Amen. Nobody will be sick. Amen. No one will die. Amen. Physically, Amen. spiritually, financially, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So let's keep on praying that the Lord will speed his work to bring it to completion. Amen. God is counting on you. God is counting on me. Tell your neighbor, God is counting on me. God is counting on me. So be prepared. Let God use you. In Jesus' name. even praising God like somebody who is excited. Hallelujah! It can only be God and God alone that has gotten that thus far. It can only be God and God alone. God is counting on every one of us.
to do what God wants us to do. It's testimony time. We just want to go straight to the point. If you have testimony, outstanding testimony, please come to the front. I mean, yeah, just go straight to the point, please, because of our time. Testimony time. Hallelujah. Please give them the mic. Go ahead, Sister Billy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank, thank God on behalf of my second daughter. Um, on the 12th of March is when she'll clock two years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will keep her in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. And most importantly, two days ago, he added a year to my years. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's sharing birthday with Daddy Gio. Isn't that great? <laughs> Happy blessed birthday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. I just want to thank the Lord for how far he has helped me. Um, as at this time last year, the devil was fighting so many battles with me. It was just from one sickness to the other. I had um, injury at my job place. And because I was doing travel nursing, I had to stop working for a while. But I just want to thank the Lord for how he showed up um, at different points without me even asking. And secondly, I want to thank the Lord for my birthday was on Friday. And the Lord blessed me with good news. I've been waiting for an immigration paper for like almost four years now. And the Lord made everything just go chill. Hallelujah. Birthday gifts. That can only be God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm just standing here just to give glory to God. My birthday is still towards the end of the year. But for end of the month, sorry. I'm so grateful that I'm alive. I'm just thanking him for his faithfulness. I've been able to climb to the seventh ladder. This is God's grace. Glory the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Seventh ladder, you can imagine. And she's still standing, dressed like that, shaking Jesus everybody. Jesus. This can only be the grace of God, right? The Lord will keep you, mommy. Many more years, you will fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We cover all these testimonies in the blood of Jesus. Of Jesus. And everyone that asking God for testimony, come next month, oh Lord. They will have more than enough in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Before I, as I was praying, Holy Spirit said, you have not shared your own. But I want to thank the Almighty God for his faithfulness over my family, over us. By on the 20 will be our 30 years of wedding anniversary. It can only be God. Yes. I give glory to God. Through Who it did all. it? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, oh my God. God. Wow. wow. God. Congratulations, And God will sustain every marriage in Jesus' yes. name. And those that are going through storm, the Lord Almighty will calm those storms in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We have some wonderful people worshiping with us for the first time. If you are worshiping with us, this is your first time of coming to Grace Chapel. Please just raise your hand wherever you are. We just want to pray with you. We just want to appreciate God for your life. Please just raise your hand wherever you are. You are in the presence of your father. Don't be ashamed. God bless you, sister. God bless you over we there. You are welcome. God bless you. We Please, can you rise up? You can you rise up, man? Excuse us. me, man. Can you rise up? God bless we you. Joy. Please welcome we her. God bless you. it is well with you 
and it shall continually to be well with you. It's not by accident that you came here. The Almighty God ordained it. And the reason why you have come here, your Lord Almighty will fulfill it in your life in Jesus' name. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Look at our sister to your right. She's waving over there. Please follow her. She will show you a little bit of hospitality. God bless you. We pray, we pray. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's listen to the following announcement and we should be done very soon. Praise the Lord. God has done it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See how God welcomes us in the month of March. It can only be God. God just, you know, the sister Jojo gave birth to a baby girl on Friday. I'm sure you will know Sister Jojo, the small sister with the big tummy. Yes. God visited her and she gave birth to a baby girl on Friday. So let's call her and congratulate her. This is her number. 832-472-6198. As you celebrate with her, the shout of celebration will not cease from your own tabernacles. In Jesus' name. Ladies of grace, shout hallelujah. Ah, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Ah, ah. Ladies of grace, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you. I hope men are not jealous. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this Saturday, you are invited to join our Zoom. It's going to be Zoom this time around. And the theme is woman break forth. Woman break forth. The Lord Almighty will cause us to break forth on all sides. In Jesus' name. The time is 10 a.m. in the morning to 12 p.m. We don't pass our time. We try not to pass our time because we know time is money in America. The Lord Almighty will help us as we join. Please invite. Please. Okay, that's the flyer. Please invite uh, your friends. It's a Zoom one, so it's easier. So, Pastor Tope Adekba Migbe, she will be the one that will be ministering unto us. And God will bless us as we do so. It's never too much to, to get any, whatever God has placed. It's never too much to invest into your knowledge of the things of God. It's never too much. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And finally, this Tuesday is our upper room. Upper room means the time of prayer and fasting. Don't be tired of praying. Don't be tired of fasting. So in, at, in the evening, we will come to church during our Bible study and have Holy Communion. And that communion will be communion of victory. How many of us wants to be victorious this month? We always have that communion, I mean, Holy Communion and uh, um, upper room every first Tuesday of the month to usher ourselves, I mean to usher ourselves in into the new month. So it's a communion of victory. The Lord Almighty will give us victory. Tell your neighbor, 7 p.m. on Tuesday, if you are not walking, I will see you. And we will sing that song of victory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Shall we rise up? Let's just begin to appreciate the Almighty God. Let's exalt His holy name. He's faithful. He's our Father. He's our God. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Thank Him and decree into this week. And say, this week as I go, let your presence go with me. Decree and say, it shall be good news. I will hear good news. I will hear pleasant surprises. No sorrow will come near my dwelling. No evil will come near me. No evil will come near my children. No evil will come near my husband. No evil will come near my spouse. Begin to talk unto the Almighty God. The Bible says, as you have spoken into my ears, so have I heard you. You are in the presence of the Almighty God. Speak into the ears of God and decree what you want for, from God. Tell it to him. He has ears. He said his ears are not short blocked, that he cannot even hear your, your prayers. 
call unto God and say, Father, the Bible says his hands are not shortened, that he cannot deliver. Tell it to God, Father, as I go this week, let your mercy go with me. Let your goodness go with me. Let your favor be upon me. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. I soak my children, my husband, everyone in the blood of Jesus. Lord Almighty, I will go forth with rejoicing. I will give testimony. It shall be good news for me all the days of my life. I will not sorrow. They will not sorrow over me. Lines will fall unto me in pleasant places. I will have God goodly heritage. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, goodness and mercy goodness. shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom in Jesus' name. Amen.